This video will show you a sample quiz in D2L and give you tips for completing your own quiz or test. To access a quiz, test, or exam, you use the Quizzes link in the Assignments drop-down menu. This brings up a list of all the quizzes in your course. Note the drop-down arrow after the quiz name. You'll use that once your quiz is completed to go back and view your results. But to begin taking this quiz, simply click on the name of the quiz from the quiz list screen. Before you begin taking your quiz, review the quiz summary and launch page carefully. This page contains information you should review closely before submitting your quiz. Note, for example, the time and attempts allowed for this quiz in the quiz details area. Your instructor has the option of setting both the time limits and limiting the number of attempts allowed for this quiz in D2L, so these settings may be different for every quiz or test you take, so it's important to check them. Your instructor also gets to decide whether or not they use the description or introduction areas at all. If these headings show up on your quiz launch page, make sure to review them carefully. When you are ready to begin, scroll down and click the Start Quiz button. Then click OK. You are now looking at a sample D2L quiz. As you can see, there is information in the heading and sidebar of the quiz to help you keep track of your progress. You should also note the Save buttons for every question. I strongly recommend that you click Save following every question. Clicking Save does not automatically submit the answer to the instructor. You can still edit your answer before submitting the final draft. But it does ensure that your work is saved in D2L should you experience difficulties with your internet browser or computer while taking the quiz. You'll notice that there are many types of questions that can be included in a D2L quiz. We'll look at a few of the more common types in this video. This first example is a multiple choice question. In a multiple choice or true false question, you select from a set of options by clicking the appropriate radial button or box and clicking save. Next, we'll look at an example of a matching question. To complete it, you'll use the drop down menus to match the items in the first column with the items in the second column. Once you have matched all of the drop-down menus, click Save. Finally, in a long answer, short answer, or fill in the blanks question, you simply type your response into the box given, don't forget to check your spelling using the spell check link, and then click Save. Your instructor should be able to answer any questions you have about tests you may be assigned in D2L. Once you have completed and saved all the questions in the quiz, You'll click Save All Responses and then go to Submit Quiz to send your answer to your instructor to be graded.